Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. One question I get all the time is, what will happen to my images and my edits in Lightroom Classic if I cancel my Adobe subscription? Well, actually, not as much as you might think. Three things happen. Uh, one is the major thing, obviously. The develop module stops working. So if you have an image you're looking at in the library module and you go over to the develop module, all the controls will be grayed out, the tools will be grayed out. It won't even show the image in the middle. It's going to say that you're not subscribed and it will give you information on how to resubscribe. So that is totally disabled, but the library module is still working. All your metadata is there. So you could come in and re-edit metadata. You could give your images star ratings and all that stuff. Also, curiously, Quick Develop keeps working. So you could actually do some processing of your image using the library module's Quick Develop tab and process an image if you canceled your Adobe subscription. That keeps working. It's just the develop module stops totally. Also, any edits you had done while your subscription was active, those edits stay. Those don't just disappear. So any images you have edited will stay edited. You just can't come in and re-edit them. You'll be able to export them. You'll be able to print them. You could do just about everything. You just can't re-edit the image. Now I mentioned there's three things that happen when you cancel your subscription. One is the develop module stops working. The other thing is the map module stops working. That's because Adobe gets their maps from Google and they pay Google a licensing fee. They don't want to pay Google that fee if you're not paying them for your subscription. So the map module stops working. The third thing that stops working is any syncing with a Lightroom mobile. So any syncing to the cloud of any images that you would then maybe edit on your on your mobile device, or if you take images with your mobile device that would sync back to Lightroom Classic, all that will stop working as well. But really, the main thing to realize is really uh, the main operation of the library module for you to organize your images still works. Everything works. You could then use third-party plugins. That still works. So you could export an image or send an image from Lightroom to a third-party plugin. Uh, for instance, we have this shot here. Let's pretend my Adobe subscription, I, I canceled it. I could come in here and I could, let's say, just do a quick develop. I could just, let's say, click auto and process it. Now let's say I want to continue this processing in a third-party app and I'm segueing into uh, editing this with on one effects because uh, it's currently on sale. So I thought uh, we do that. And now everyone kind of I think nowadays thinks is on one photo raw 2020 as a large program that does a lot of stuff. But they also have just individual plugins that you could purchase, the effects plugin, the, the resize plugin, and they're having a sale on all those plugins. And I'll have information for all of that in the description below this video and also a discount code so you could save even more off their sale. So for instance, if I canceled my Adobe subscription, I could come in, hit auto tone control, or I could come in and just do um, specific adjustments using the quick develop tab in the library module because all of that will quit, keep working. Then I could right click on the imi image, go to edit in, and let's say I wanna send this to on one effects 2020. And then it's asking me what to send it as. I'll just keep those defaults and click edit. So all that's gonna keep working. So it'll open this image up uh, as a PSD file because that's what that um, default was in on one effects. And then from there, I could do any on one effects I want to the image. Um, specifically, in this case, let's just do something simple like add a texture to it. So we'll just go to add filter. I'll go to textures. And in this case, I don't want walls, but let's go to something like photographic. And then we'll go to, I don't know, see something that catches my interest. Kind of just bokeh 14. That looks pretty cool. Uh, just like that. And then when I'm satisfied with it, I would maybe come in and do other effects as well. If I wanted to, I would just click done in the lower right hand corner. 
and it will close this down. It will reopen in Lightroom with this effect added to it. And again, all that stays active um, when you're um, when you cancel your Adobe subscription. Uh, you'll still be able to do stuff like this, and it's taking a while to do, but um, you get the idea. And there, it's going to appear any second. There it is. So there's still a lot you could do if you cancel your Adobe subscription. Uh, you know, so. The main thing is you won't lose any of your existing edits and you'll be able to still export images, you'll be able to print images, you'll be able to import new images, and as I demonstrated, you'll be able to send images to third-party plugins and do something there and then return to the library module of Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.